Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 3D printers under $300. Starting at number 5. Prusa Mini Plus. The Prusa Mini Plus 3D printer is a terrific option if you're just getting started in 3D printing, though it seems to be in short supply these days. That's a shame because it offers novices reliable performance and quality prints right out of the box, even if it is more expensive than competing 3D printers for beginners. In our testing, we found the Prusa Mini Plus easy to set up, though the lack of an enclosed printing area may make this the wrong choice if you've got younger folks hanging around your workspace. Well-designed software walks you through the process of preparing your model for printing. And when it is time to print, the Prusa Mini Plus performs relatively quickly at the 0.2 mm quality print mode. We were pleased with the quality of all our test prints, including those that featured parts that had to fit precisely together. Though pricier than most beginning printers, the Prusa Mini Plus doesn't make you jump through a lot of hoops to get your printer calibrated and set up. We think it's a great alternative to the Monoprice Voxel. Coming at number 4. Flashforge Adventurer 4. If you have a messy workshop with a lot of dust, the Flashforge Adventurer 4 might just be the 3D printer for you as it case is designed to keep dust out while a built-in fan and HEPA filter keeps the print bed clean. This is also a great 3D printer for those that want to have it run in the background while out and about since it has a live camera feed to show you how your prints are progressing. While the Flashforge Adventurer 4 costs more than some other 3D printers like the Monoprice Voxel we've reviewed, you're getting a more advanced device that's also more affordable than pro-level 3D printers. It's also a bit larger at 21.7 by 19.7 by 18.5 inches, but this is because the entire printing mechanism is enclosed. The Flashforge Adventurer 4 is controlled through a simple touchscreen on the left side at the front of its case. This is easy enough to use when setting up prints, but we found entering our Wi-Fi password to be a bit difficult. After a few failed attempts, we used a wired Ethernet connection to pair it with our computer and this worked flawlessly. At number 3. Photon Mono X. As good as the Form 3 is, it's very expensive. Printers like the now sold out Piopoli Phenom brought down the price of SLA printing somewhat but the Photon Mono X offers an even cheaper entry. Even better, the results are pretty impressive. We found that Photon Mono X created high-quality SLA prints quickly, despite the occasional printing error. 3D printing enthusiasts will appreciate the large print area, 331 cubic inches. That's particularly impressive given the Photon Mono X's comparatively small size, it's only 18 inches tall and a little more than 11 inches wide, so it will fit easily into a home workshop or similar setting. SLA printing remains a messy, smelly business. But the Photon Mono X helps bring down the cost of this process without forcing you to make too many compromises. Number 2 of my list. XYZ Da Vinci Nano. If the Monoprice Voxel is either too difficult to find or too expensive for your budget, the Da Vinci Nano from XY's Printing may be your best low-price option, especially now that the printer appears to be back in stock. The Da Vinci is relatively compact, about the size of a bread maker, but it has a generous for its size build area of 4.7 inches on all sides. There's a door to close off the print area and block out some of the noise from printing, but be aware that opening the door doesn't stop the printing process. The Da Vinci Nano is no speed demon, other best 3D printers produce objects in much less time, but the prints it produced in our testing were of very good quality. The software that accompanies this 3D printer is also easy to use, another reason why we recommend the Da Vinci Nano for classroom settings. Should the Da Vinci Nano be in short supply, there's a wireless version, the Da Vinci Nano W, available at the XY's printing site for around $250. And number 1. Monoprice Voxel. If you're looking to get started in 3D printing, the Monoprice Voxel 3D printer is a great choice, as it delivers high-quality prints without costing you a fortune. 
novices will particularly appreciate the heated print base on the voxel, which means more reliable prints when you use materials like ABS. The top of the print bed slides out, too, and it's bendable, so removing prints is a snap. We also like the fact that the voxel is enclosed, an important consideration if you're planning on using a 3D printer in a home or classroom. The MP voxel is speedy, producing prints in times we usually see from more expensive devices. We were also impressed with the quality of prints, which accurately recreated details and captured natural, smooth curves in our testing. You may run into some minor frustrations with setup, but once it's up and running, the MP Voxel is the best 3D printer for people who want to experience 3D printing for the first time. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.